Welcome to our science lesson for today. Happy Thursday again, and I hope you are ready to learn and talk a little bit more about science. Uh, just the other day, we talked about and learned what is science and what do scientists do? And we were able to have a lesson about that and talk about it during our Zoom meeting. And you did a fantastic job and I think we have a few scientists in our class already. So today, I want to talk a little bit more about that. We know that science is the study of things in the world around us. Scientists are the ones who are doing the studying, the experiments, and they are the ones that are doing the work of studying science. But in order for our scientists to question, make conclusions, get data or information, or even do the experiments, they need tools. In order for scientists to do their job, they need tools. So let, what are tools? Tools are things that we use to help get the job done. Let's look at this picture, a construction worker. Construction workers use tools to get their job done, like hammers, screwdrivers, nails. Those are the tools that they use. What about firefighters? The tools firefighters use are their suits, hoses, water, that is what they use to get their job done. Today, we're gonna to talk about the tools scientists use to get their job done. So we're gonna read um, a few pages out of our book. To do experiments, scientists use tools. Do you know any tools that scientists use? Some tools are for safety. Can you think of anything that keep scientists safe? I see something in this picture that the boy is wearing. He has on goggles to protect his eyes. We definitely want to keep our eyes safe. Scientists use an apron. How does this help? Well, how does this help them keep safe? It keeps them safe because it protects their bodies and their clothes from anything getting spilled on it. Scientists use goggles. How do goggles keep them safe? We just said that it keeps their eyes safe. Scientists use gloves. How do gloves help keep them safe? Just like the apron, it protects their hands from anything getting spilled on it. Scientists use tongs or tweezers. How do these keep them safe? Because if they're touching something dangerous, they'll use the tweezers instead of their fingers. Some tools that scientists use are for helping them make observations. What could this scientist use to observe a little frog? A magnifying glass. A magnifying glass or hand lens helps scientists make observations. How does it work? It works, whoops, it works by making things that are tiny look bigger so that we can see more detail on them. A microscope helps scientists make observations. Have you ever used a microscope? Binoculars help scientists make observations. When would a scientist use binoculars? So like we said, scientists can study the science of birds or weather so, or animals, and they might need to see those things that are far, far away. Binoculars help us see things that are far, far away. A telescope helps scientists make observations. 
what can you see through a telescope? We talked about how scientists can study the science of outer space. Telescopes help scientists see all the way to outer space. Some tools that scientists use are for measuring information. Can you think of any of these tools? This scientist might be measuring how much rain fell from the sky. A ruler helps scientists measure. What could a scientist measure with a ruler? Remember, ruler measures how long something is. So maybe if I catch a bug, I want, might want to measure how long that bug is, and then I'll use a ruler. A timer helps scientists measure. What could a scientist measure with a timer? They measure the time. Maybe if you were running a race, we would use a timer to see how fast you can run. A scale helps scientists measure. What could a scientist measure with a scale? They measure how heavy something is. If you are studying something, you might want to know how heavy is this seashell? A thermometer helps scientists measure. Thermometers help measure the temperature outside or how it feels on our body when we go outside. It might feel hot, especially right now if you go outside, or it might feel cold outside. Measuring cups help scientists measure. What could a scientist measure with these? I know I use measuring cups when I'm baking or cooking to help me measure the ingredients. Measuring spoons also help scientists measure. And again, I use these when I'm baking and cooking to measure my ingredients. Some tools that scientists use are for exploring as they try different experiments. This is called a beaker. Scientists might put their chemicals and mixtures in there to see what happens. A scientist can explore using a balance. A balance tells us which is heavier and which is lighter. If I had two things to measure, this little itty bitty clip and this oh, heavy water bottle, and I put them on my scale, the light one would go up and the heavy one would go down. And that is what a balance helps us measure. The weight or how heavy or light an object is. A scientist can explore using magnets. You, with magnets, you can see what is magnetic. A scientist can also explore using maps or globes. If I am a scientist and I want to go study animals, I can look at the map and say, oh, maybe I'll fly to Australia and study the animals there. A scientist can also use a compass, and a compass helps us tell the direction we're going so I don't get lost. To help them explore, scientists can use test tubes. And again, this is when they're mixing things and having crazy experiments. They can keep themselves safe. We use these beakers to help explore too. They also might use a dropper in their experiments, a funnel so they don't spill and make a mess. And they also use tools for recording or writing down what they did. Those tools are pencils and paper, just like we use. Scientists can also use crayons to draw pictures about what they were studying. They also use a camera to take pictures so they remember what they saw and observed. Different scientists use different tools depending on what kind of scientist they are. 
This is an astronaut. An astronaut will use space tools to do their job. A scientist that studies weather might use a weather vane to help them study. Ooh, this one is a geologist who studies rocks and they might use that hammer and pickaxe to help them find rocks and fossils. Science is all around us. Again, all of our ideas, we can be doing science all the time. In the sky, in space, and definitely in our brains. I can't wait to find out what you are gonna discover this year being a scientist in our class. I'll see you during our Zoom meeting.